So here it is, the 2023 state of the collection. If I were you, I would stay to the end of the video because I'm unveiling a new piece that just arrived. So, and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. first one is the Tag Heuer Formula 1. This was a watch my parents gifted me when my son was born. So as you know it is a lifelong member of my collection. I may gift it to my son when he is older and I've never said this before but the reason I chose the Tag Heuer Formula 1 is because I was a bit well I still am a big big fan of Formula One but I am a big fan of the Red Bull racing team so you know marketing worked its magic and I chose this watch just because Tag Heuer was the sponsor of the Red Bull Formula One racing team so yeah second one is a Middle Jordan it's a watch that my wife gifted to me after we were married this watch is special because it's the watch my wife used to wear when she was running triathlons and she gifted to me so it's also a lifelong member of my collection as well i've been trying to find another strap like some strap options for this one so if you have any suggestions of straps please leave them below these two watches i probably wear the least because of the sentimental value i really don't want anything to happen to them so i really don't wear them that much now the next two watches are the same model but just different versions it's the Silos Hammerhead and the Silos Hammerhead Special Edition by Sirius Watches. I gifted my dad one, which is a blue Silos. This is for my boy and this is mine. These both are special because I only wear them when we go to the beach on holidays. As you all know, bronze has a very special characteristic that it oxidizes or gets a patina with the sun, the sweat, the pH of the skin and the salt water on the beach. So this changes every time we go on holiday and I'm able to literally embed the memories of being on the beach with my boy and my wife and my family on this watch. So this is a watch I'm gonna give to my boy as well when he grows up. I might keep this, I might give him this. One thing I like about Silo's watches is the loom. The loom is crazy but especially the serious watches one, the dial and the bezel is made out of forged carbon fiber but it has loom embedded on it so it shines like crazy. Both of these silos are part of my lifelong collection until my boy is old enough and when I die of course it will go to him as well. Next up we have a watch which only 20 pieces exist of it in the world and that is the Oris Mexico Social Club edition. To buy this watch you need to be a member of the Oris Club in whichever city you live, which I am in Mexico City. So there are only 20 watches with the same case back as this one which is a nod to Mexico City. I really like the silver white dial on this watch. It makes it a strap monster. I choose to wear it with this baby blue strap because it's. I really like the way it complements the dial but it also matches the loom. So it is a special watch. Then we have a recent purchase which is the Tissot Heritage 1938 Salmon Dial. I am a sucker for Salmon Dials. They're super super in right now. And this watch became part of my collection because it's you know those times that you buy something knowing it's good but after some time you realize that you didn't actually know how good it was and this watch is spectacular uh it is a chronometer so it has a variation of minus 0.5 seconds a day something crazy for 800 dollars you know sign me in perfect day perfect watch for every day salmon dial which is a strap beast even though it doesn't look like it i have it right now with a olive green green strap with you know matches my beanie and my sweater but it's amazing amazing watch
Now we go to the heavy hitters. We have the Omega Speedmaster 1969, a historical piece. I love the Omega Speedmaster. I've had around five this year, different versions, but this one is the one that caught my eye. It was made in 1969. You know, in June 1969 was the year that the astronauts reached the moon with the same watch. It's the same reference, 1969. Uh, so it's a quite special piece. It's a strap monster, so everything goes good with it. And this watch is momentarily part of my collection. I really like it. Like, you know, if someone with a good offer comes and wants it, I'll sell it. But momentarily part of the collection just because it's a historical piece. Then we have another watch with sentiment value, the Jojo Le Cult Reverso. This is a mono faced one, it just has the white dial. It's a strap monster, I really like this watch. It's one of my favorite watches that from one of my favorite brands or houses. And I engraved it with my son's initials, so it's extra special. And this watch will also be gifted to my son when I die probably or when his first son or daughter is born and hopefully he can engrave the initials of his sons or daughters on this watch as well you know to continue the legacy of this watch I love it I love it I also don't wear this watch as much just because I don't want anything to happen to it but it's part of my lifelong collection until I die or until my kid has his own kid From here on, it's just Grand Seiko. So firstly, we have the Shunbun, which is the pink dial watch. It's a spring drive movement, so the second hand moves, it's amazing. It was my first Grand Seiko, and it's probably guilty of making me addicted to the Japanese house. It's made out of titanium, and the pink dial represents the cherry blossom dying and it floating away in the rivers of the Japanese forests. It represents a lot to me because it reminds me of how fragile and delicate life can be and how fast it goes just as the life of the cherry blossom, you know, pretty poetic. So since I got this watch, it's probably the one that has gotten the most wrist time. Then we have the Shubun, not to be conf confused with the Shunbun. This is the blue dialed beauty. The texture of the Grand Seiko Taos is just ridiculous and the blue on this watch is out of this world. I love the combination of the blue dial with the gold accents in the GS and in the seconds hand. And I, I actually wear this watch a lot. This is made out of steel and I love how the Saratsu finishing when worn plays with the light and how the sun reveals the pattern on the dial. Amazing. Then we have another watch with huge sentimental value, it's the Sea of Clouds. This is a limited edition, 1200 pieces worldwide, 37 millimeters, and the most impressive dial of all, in my opinion. You can literally feel like you're touching the clouds with this watch. It was a gift from my family for turning 30 years, barely. <laughs> It's a stunning, stunning piece. The finishing is amazing. I really, really love this watch. This is probably the one that I wear the most of the ones that have sentimental value. Lifelong partner of my collection. So yeah, I love this watch. So we have seen the Spring Drive, the Automatic Grand Seikos, but now we have the Manual Wind. We have the Bioka, the green tiled beauty. As you can see, it's a hard green to capture on camera. This is one of my last purchases of this year. This is a really rare Grand Seiko piece. It was specifically imported because I asked for it. And I'm so in love with the green tile. The texture is amazing. It represents the end of summer. And also the crocodile strap, the green crocodile strap is spectacular. I actually modified it because Grand Seiko straps don't come with quick release so I actually did some quick release with a special tool that I bought which is amazing because I actually now can change the straps without worrying or scratching the watch too much and I really love this piece and now for the big reveal the crown jewel let me introduce the new member of my collection the Grand Seiko Tentograph this is probably the crown jewel this is one of the most amazing watches Grand Seiko do this is actually the first mechanical chronograph 
they have ever done and it's just amazing it's a bit big it's make it made out of titanium 43 millimeter case but the dial is amazing it's stunning it has a deep blue mounty watty texture it's i'm pretty sure i can get used to how big it is because it's amazing i'm actually waiting for some straps because it's 23 millimeter lock but i'm waiting for strap straps I'm, I'm i think that it will actually look amazing on different straps my favorite part of this watch is the crazy crazy case back it's the new 9s caliber with it's nothing short of watch porn i could literally watch this movement 24 7 and never get bored it's ridiculous uh this type of finishing you can get on watches that are 20 30 000 dollars and up and you're getting it on a watch that is not that close to the price it's an expensive watch yes but it's not that expensive and it's actually worth every every penny that you pay for it i'm in love with this watch so and we have a visitor right now <laughs> so uh yeah thank you for watching the state of my collection video and thank you for this year it was amazing hopefully 2024 is really good on you and on me so look forward for more watch videos happy new year merry christmas or whatever you celebrate hopefully we'll see each other next year thank you